Welcome everybody to our Sunday meditation. Um, we have come up with this idea so that um, it seemed that there was a space there. Uh, of course, Will was doing meditations, but um, this is exclusively just to do meditations and uh, to help everybody and to help ourselves at the same time. Um, I have not prepared a meditation. I have to tell you I'm going out on a limb uh, for this because I was asked not to because they want me to channel it. Um, I also would like to say hello to everybody. So Johannes, Chris, Michelle, Ray, Roxanne, Tasha, Valerie, Will, and Maria. Um, welcome everyone to our meditation. And I would like to ask everyone to please get yourselves in whatever feels comfortable to you just not in a position that you're likely to fall asleep however if you fall asleep that's what you need it so nothing lost so um, I will get myself ready and we will start the meditation It's a delight to be here with all of you. I will guide you through this meditation in which you will all meet yourselves. What does that mean? Hmm, a wonder. I will leave that all to each one of you to decide what that is. It's an exploration into yourself into your lives, into your beingness, is an exploration into seeing who you are, who you've been, who you will be, who you can be, who you wish to be. It is simply an exploration. There is no right or wrong. You choose, you decide, for you are. We will imagine a path. A path in the clouds you can hardly see the path you feel yourself relaxing as you move forward you see yourself moving slowly and every step that you take relaxes you further and further. You feel the peace within you as it builds up. 
you feel the love of the universe. You breathe it in into your heart chakra and you continue walking. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Feel the joy of the path. The path that you have chosen. And it fills you with every step that you take. It is you. It is your joy. The universe embraces every step you take. It creates for you. And it gives you with unconditional love. It feels that light within you. Continue on this path. As you keep going, you will find two guardians. They are your guardians. They will each point a path. For the path will divide now. They will tell you something in your ear. Depending on what you choose, you will choose a path. It is your choice. Now continue walking on the path that you have chosen. The further you move, the clearer it becomes for you. You might be walking by a river, by the mountains, by the sea. You might be in another dimension. Just keep walking and admire what you see. See the wonder of where you have chosen to go. Breathe it in. Thank the universe for such a creation, for such a gift. Breathe it in. Thank yourself for the exploration that you had given to yourself. The further you move, the clearer it becomes.
Your journey has taken you many places, but at this point, this is where you choose to be. Embrace the peacefulness of the environment. Keep walking further. As you move further, you begin to feel that you've been there before, that you felt, you smell, you've seen this place before, that you have the knowledge within you of what it is. Do you have the awareness of it? Allow yourself to see, to remember. Now find a place where you can sit and enjoy it. Take it all in. There is someone approaching you now. This is your other self that you've gone to meet. This other self has knowledge and wisdom for you. Allow him to sit next to you, him or her. Now talk to each other.
this moment, if you're done talking, thank your other self, thank the universe for this opportunity. Now you will go back on the path Continue to enjoy the environment. Be thankful for the gift that was given to you. Keep walking. Until you reach the two men again, this time they will give you two choices, but you will be the teacher you will be the one to impart wisdom. So listen to the two choices and pick a path. Start walking down the path. And feel your body, your soul, the awareness of all of you as you walk down. Feel your connection to yourself, to your higher self to your soul, to spirit. To the universe. Feel how everything is connected. See the strand of light that connects everyone. See how you hold much wisdom within you. every step that you take in 
has taught you and see how much you have learned that you are not only a student but you are also a master Continue walking down the path and you'll find yourself in another environment. Take it all in. Take the joy and the wonder. As you continue walking, you will find another aspect of you waiting for you. This time, you will be the one imparting the wisdom. Speak to your aspect. As a token of appreciation, your aspect, your other you, will hand you something. See it in your hand. Thank him or her for it, for the gift.
and start walking back. Thank the universe for this experience. And keep walking in all that everything that has happened to you has been a gift for you had given and it has been given to you. Once you reach the guardians, thank them Now continue on the path to one with the clouds, the right path. The scenery begins to fade away. Yet you hold many treasures in your heart now. Continue walking. And as you return, the closer you get, the more aware you become of your body. The more aware you become of who you are in this land. And the more aware you become of your gifts. It is in giving and receiving that wisdom is attained. I will leave now, but I would like to say that it is a joy and a pressure to have guided all of you in this moment in time in which humanity is shining. What a beautiful sight it is. What a joy for the universe.
I thank you all for your wisdom and for allowing me this opportunity to share this experience with you. Namaste. Namaste. Adore. Namaste. And so it is. Namaste, thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you very much, Sabrina. You're welcome. How did everybody do? Awesome. <laughs> I'm I'm actually interested in hearing this. It was very pleasant and very <clears throat> peaceful for me. And then there was something that happened that I'm not quite sure what it was all about, so I'm going to sit with it for a while and try to figure it out. But it was very beautiful and peaceful. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody else wish to share? Come on, guys. Speak up. <laughs> Will? Actually, I thought the concept, I don't know how that came to you, but the concept of um, getting direction from another aspect of yourself on the one path and then coming back as the teacher and meeting the other aspect of yourself in another path. I mean, for me, that was really... Um, Kick-ass. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> what she said. Well, it, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> I know, but whose ever idea it was, it was yes. very cool. It yes. was, And actually, I thought, I'm going to do this over and over again because my mind wanted to decide the characters like I went from me to a dude with a beard and the like it was a whole it, it was very interesting <laughs> but, so, so the, the the one that taught you did were you able to see them him or her? on the first one yeah well the one that taught me I already had a picture in my mind so it came easily to me from Alma talk of I was a goddess at some point and in India um, long before Christ so that was the teacher that showed up oh, so nice. yeah and then um, yeah I'll just leave it at that because now I'm okay that but that was uh, she was offering Shakti, actually, to me, a dude, on the beach, like, um, in New Zealand. Like, I made a hut and was cooking fish and luxuriating in my aloneness. <laughs> <laughs> and she told me, actually, this is interesting, like, 
this whole rough in it kind of thing. She said, it's also really lovely. Luxury is also really lovely. And um, being served, nurtured, and cared for. So mm -hmm. that was interesting. And what about it on the second one? Okay, I have to think about that, so chat with somebody for a minute while okay. I try and recall. Okay. Okay. Anybody else wishes to share? Nobody says anything. I will call you out. <laughs> I'd like to share. I'd like to get your guys' opinion on what you might think this is. Um, my roommate um, is a lovely human being that has the biggest heart in the world. And um, <clears throat> he's just on a different path than I am. And uh, he showed up. He was there walking. And another woman showed up walking with him. I don't know if that was, I don't know what that, I don't know what to think of that. Any ideas okay. on how to relate to, to the walking with someone else? Did they impart something on you? Um, yeah, I think, um, maybe peace with, you know, um, knowing that he will be able to find, you know, love other than the love that he has for me, maybe. That's about it. And what about the other person? Maybe they both just simply had a message for you. Well, first I was walking down the path in a very peaceful state of mind and being. And then he appeared, he appeared, and then I kind of was like above them, watching them walk together. And then um, that was it. That was my experience I shared. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Very good. Yeah, you'll see. Maybe it'll, it'll come to you. The more you think about it, just feel it in your in your heart chakra. Okay, I will. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay, I think I can talk about mine now. Okay. Um, well, mine was the aspects of myself were both younger and then older, and so the younger one of me was telling me about how well about love and about how love would get me through anything and everything it has so far and it will continue to do so so that was refreshingly good and then on the other path was the older me saying you know it was love it is love and it will always be love so it's about the giving and the receiving of love and knowing how to do both and getting a balance in the two. And anyways, I was very, very touched. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you had a great experience. Sounds like it was good for you. Yes, very much so. I've been feeling very happy anyway and just feeling a lot more love in my life. And so I understand what both aspects were saying about the balance in it that um, maybe it doesn't have to be the extreme lows and extreme highs. You know, there can just be a really good balance of giving and receiving. And I'm, I'm good with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, Will. You're not going to escape. <laughs> yeah, Sabrina. Would you wish? Do you wish to share? I do. I loved it. It was absolutely perfect. I loved the uh, teacher and the student aspect. It's perfect for the age of Aquarius, and that both are aspects of yourself was even you know more profound. Mine, both of mine took me off planet. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. Into the ether. 
and um, I have to I have to just sit with it for a while. It was just awesome. Okay. Okay. Sounds like it. You're like I can feel your energy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can feel it. Wow. How? Oh, did Maria get to do it or no? No. Okay. We'll do, she'll, she'll do it later. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't want to leave her out in case she's sitting there or I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Guru Dan? That was nice. I also posted Paula's uh, experience on the side chat. And, and she posted on the YouTube channel. Yeah, okay. Wanted, wanted to bring it to your attention so she wouldn't be left out. Um, my oh, experience... Okay. Yeah, it was nice walking in the clouds. I, I started walking on a really good kind of meadowy path, and then it went to the clouds, and then that was kind of interesting, and then I kind of walked around those for a little bit. And then you got to where uh, we met the two beings, and they gave me the choice to go to a right or left, and I went to the right, and um, that had a meaning. But I'm not going to share the meaning because it was personal. And then <laughs> we got to the other aspects where we could choose the path. And I went, I thought I was to the left that time, but I ended up to the right. It was a choice. The, cho the path was the thing that decided what, what was your highest joy. So they impart right, the, the information to you. So they imparted the information to me, and then said, "If I if I went one way, it meant one thing. If I went the other way, it meant the other." So exactly. I went right. I went right again, and that meant something. And then I went through some mountains and stuff, and then that was when you were doing breathe in, you know, thank the universe for that majesticness. That was kind of neat, and then. I was at some water for a little while. That was kind of neat. Breathe that in. And then when you said getting to an aspect of yourself, and even though the being that showed up was a future aspect of myself, yet I'm the one that imparted the wisdom to that being. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, so I told it everything that I thought was going on, that's that's happening. And then it imparted some wisdom back. So when it, when it came to where it gave me some wisdom back, um, that was very fulfilling. I really enjoyed that. That was, um, that was a wonderful exchange of energy and very validating. So that was nice. But it was, it was an older version of myself, a futuristic older version of my. But yet I'm the one that's counseling that one. But then they, they imparted great wisdom back. And then we came back. And that, it was just really, really awesome. I really, really liked that. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and I, I didn't know you know, where this was going. I had no idea, obviously. Um, so, um... Well, it went well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I was afraid I was going to go blank. <laughs> no, if you had gone blank, I'd have thrown some monkey grease on you and you'd have slid <laughs> right through it. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> you were covered. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I knew they were there because, you know, even b before while everybody was talking, I was like, oh, oh. I could feel them there. Um, who else would like to share? I don't want to force people. All right, I'll go. Let me see if my camera's working. I'm at this house. My new parents' place. I'm helping them move in. Actually, they're going out of town. So I'm guiding down the path. I like the garden idea. But I'm not walking. I was kind of like floating. And the idea of the clouds, and it was like a, 
like a beginning of a thunderstorm cloud. It was darkening up. I was going down this path. And then then you said it's, it started getting clear. So it did start getting clear. It was beautiful. And then I came upon two of the guides. And they were both dressed. What we could equate to is, let's say, grim reapers. But they weren't grim. They just were dramatic wearing mm -hmm. the outfits. And they were going, choose my path. No, no, no. Choose my path. Don't choose his. His is dumb. Mine's awesome. No, no, no. <laughs> and they were bickering like Abbott and Costello, but in a funny way. And I said, well, I'll choose the right path because it's the right path. So I went down the right path. So I followed that path, and I found the garden that you had taught me. And I stayed in that garden, and I found a place to sit. And I noticed it was kind of like an old stone white bench carved. And then there was this well I was sitting in front of, but my back was to the well. It was kind of sitting on the side, and it was a the same kind of stone well that the bucket was there and the rope and the whole thing, and it was surrounded by many flowers, and it was kind of a clearing. And then you, here comes my other aspect of myself that broke through the uh, tree line, I would, I would say, and then walked down the path. And it was dressed... Uh, a little bit like the other guys, but this time the rope, the robe was black and it was thicker, very much thicker, um, and it was trimmed in blue, uh, kind of like a leather, one inch, one and a half inch blue leather stitched all around the edges where the robe would close down to the bottom and around. Very beautiful, and around the uh, arm arm cuffs as well. Then he sat. And said hello, and I said hello. And he took off his hood, and it looked very much like a blue Evian, except it was white. And I said, oh, you're a white Evian. And he goes, yes, I am. I didn't know there was one one. He goes, well, now you do. And I have an aspect of you. In the exchange of words, I'm going to keep to myself for this now. But it was most epic, most certainly. So he exchanged the words with me. I had questions. We had a great conversation about it. And it was just a validation for what I've known for many times. That I've come, let's say many nows is a better word, I guess. To accept it. And I did so. And uh, Makao, M-A-I-K-O, made me spell it three times. Makao. There's no A in it. It's just K. Makao. I was like, okay, Makao, I got you. And he exchanged a couple more impartations and said our goodbyes and gave our gratitudes and went on our merry way back into the clouds and found myself divided again. Or, no, I think we got to the two guys first. And they had two choices. And the two choices were exactly what Mikhail had imparted to me if I wanted the one choice which related to McKay or the other choice which related to another reality. And I imparted upon them my wisdom to those two guides. And I made my choice on the two paths that lied before me. Burst through the clouds, gave my eternal gratitude, floated home, found my garden on earth, and puffed the magic dragon. Here I am. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, it was, it was very pleasant. <laughs> very wonderful. I'm going to get some of those headphones everybody's got, man. Everybody's got these cool headphones, and I don't. <laughs> Time to step up. I get know. The, these are the Logitech ones. They're the best. Are they? Yeah, because they have a mute. Cool. But you can just click on and off. They have a volume button. On Amazon? the side, Amazon. And, uh, I don't know, a hundred different places. Just Logitech earphones. Find them at like Office Max, I'm sure. I'm sure there's a bunch of different, um, different brand or different models, though. No. Mm, I don't know. Just find the one that's yours. Okay. It'll say, it'll say "Hi, Tasha. I'm yours," and then get. Okay. Did you want me to read Paula? Yes, Paula? please. Okay, it's lovely to see you, Sabrina and Roxanne. I love to see your faces. Love you. Love you, too. Okay, here's Paula's experience. 
Gabriel and Michael met me there with arms together and a point to the to the right. Although Gabriel's left arm pointed to the left path, and they whispered that I could have my cat, Shalimar, if I took the path they together pointed to, or if I went left, I could have the future I had desired. So I said, no, I shall take my Shalimar, and I will also have the future I desire. Then they laughed, knowing they had not tricked me, and that I knew who I was, and could, and could have whatsoever I determined for myself. I continued on the path, and Shalimar, my cat, joined with me, and we went throughout the many starving countries and began to see such merriment, hustle and bustle of lovely new dwellings being erected for the people, clean and healthy, happy children playing about, and women engaged in their arts and crafts, selling an equal trade to all the excited tourists. This and more is my future, where all countries thrive and are equal in every way, equal in every way, living and loving life in perfect harmony, and of course my own little life with my special desires of the heart as with the same for all others. Thank you for a grand meditation, Sabrina. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I like that. Thank you for reading it, Tasha. You're very welcome. Uh, anybody else wishes to share? I'm probably the last one, or am I? I don't know. <laughs> I will go anyway. Yes, go ahead. Um, well, I had a lot of just confirmations again about the stuff that's been going on, and and uh, I jumped on that cloud <laughs> path, and like Roxy, I, I I didn't walk. I was just like floating on this path, and I sort of didn't see a path line by my where my feet would be anyway it was like sort of just going through this cloud and there was like a tunnel so let's say like a <laughs> tunnel cloud so um yeah and then when uh, when the guy guides there uh, was there, or who was uh, representing themselves as my guide? So it was basically my sort of galactic family. It's it's my what I could call my mother and my father, and uh, their names are uh, Aisha is the father and uh, Mia is the mother. So, uh, and uh, it was like, you know, option given, and so I took the right one. It was like my mother's option. Whatever it was, it wasn't so clear. I was just feeling that that's like the option that I, I'm like attracting most. So I went down there and sort of, I'm, I, it was really much. It was a lot of, a lot of, uh, coaching a lot of um, kind of deeper stuff and and on the second turn it was even deeper you know it was like it was a very similar path again but then it went even deeper and yeah I realized some some really like <laughs> really crazy shit so thank you Sabrina and thanks for whoever guided us through that and thank you all for being awesome. And thank you for sharing. Uh, Ray, would you like to share? Yes, I can. Yeah, um, I also got to have two choices. Um, yeah, one, and they were both about, uh, It's kind. Of, it was kind of like a silly question. Um, which kind of like magical, not magical, um, <laughs> abilities, like in terms of abilities, would you like this ability or that ability? And I'm just like, no, I want both. No way. <laughs> I have to have both. Like, I, I'm, I'm just like, no, I am absolutely sure that I can have both. You know, this, is, this is silly. And 
so there wasn't, yeah, there wasn't any resistance to that. So yeah, why not both? And then, um, so I came in contact with a, not a guide. It's like an aspect of which I have seen a few times now. It's how can I describe? To me, from here, it looks like some sort of ginormous dolphin bird rainbow creature which is lying dormant in a pyramid ship, interdimensional pyramid ship, and it has recently come to Earth. It has just remembered Earth. It's, it was away during the whole time between Atlantis and now, and it's just come back. All right, so, yeah, so I came, yeah, I, I was there again. And then when we're walking further down the path, this being sort of descended from the sky to come, come up to me. And at first it looked like a god being, kind of looked a little bit like Thoth, but, and I asked, you know, is this Thoth? And it kind of goes, no, but we're of the of the Thoth, Thoth people or something. And I'm like, oh, God, I've got to look this up. I don't know anything about this, but okay, that's fine. Um, so he sat next to me. And the closer he got to me, the more human he looked. It looked as though he was regressing back to his Atlantean or even Lemurian, I don't know, um, physical form, like as a man who wore this mask and... He was like a priest or whatever you call them. And so he sat next to me and um, we didn't speak. We spoke energetically. Um, I just, you know, he reached out his hand. I put my hand out and he starts doing spirals in the palm of my hand. And I understood that he's giving me some sort of some, some, some sort of kundalini message, something because I've never had kundalini in my life. And he's just giving me some sort of kundalini message, and I can't really remember that much after that. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. You want it more? <laughs> that was awesome. My goodness. <laughs> I didn't feel it. It was just some sort of like download or, or something of that sort. It was nice. It was nice to meet that aspect again. I like. I really want confirmation that 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 aspect is. Real and you know, yeah. Yeah, sounds like you had a great experience. Um, I didn't do the first one. I was, you know, I guess I was talking, but I was able to do the second one, um, which I thought it was interesting because I was talking, but I still was. I managed to do it. The second part, because I was, you know, at that point a lot more relaxed. Um, and the aspect of myself that I met, we didn't talk. Um, I basically just hugged her. You know, and I was holding her. Uh, she found it a bit odd. Um, at the beginning, but she allowed it so I think it felt healing for her <clears throat> but it was really good I could really feel her and, and visualize her so well I am so glad everyone had a good experience and and uh, actually, it seems like pretty deep because everybody had stuff they wanted to hold back. <laughs> so it was great. Um, I don't know if and anybody has any other comments or anything like that. Yeah, at the beginning, I felt like you guys were sucking me into the screen and my head was going forward and like, I'm like, Wait, my head's getting really heavy. I'm like, my crown's being sucked. Oh, my, maybe my head is getting sucked into the screen. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, Valerie. <laughs> um, so, on that, 
Oh, I don't know. I should have checked. I'm working on that, Michelle, on on, on who I'm channeling during my sleep. <laughs> um, I'm working on that because they're like, what do you mean you didn't get the name? <laughs> so I'm working on it. Um, so I want to thank everyone who participated, everyone that was here, everyone that was. I don't know how many viewers there were. Dan, do you know? I think we got up to four viewers on the YouTube okay. at one point, and it's been just kind of uh, in between since then. Yeah. So I did, I did post a link to that uh, that cloud video for those that want an extra visual. So when they come to the YouTube channel, they can use that for a reference if they like. I watched it on the YouTube. I couldn't okay. get into the room. And was it, guys, was it um, Galactic Language? Galactic, which, which YouTube was it? Yeah. It, it, oh. It will be in Human Colony. It will be in the Human Colony. Okay. Yeah. This will be in Human Colony, um, this meditation. So for anyone that wishes to do it again, uh, because obviously something we can do over and over again. And I want to thank the four viewers who watch. Um, they were there. And Paula's. Paula's experience was very nice. Thank you for typing so fast. <laughs> can, I, can I just give you a quick rundown of what I experienced? Because I oh, you did it also? You managed to do it? I did. I did manage to do it. Oh, I get, okay. Sorry. I didn't jump in the chat room on time, but I, uh, I did uh, get to watch it on YouTube. No, go right ahead. Okay. So I don't know what you guys are talking about the roads because I didn't see any roads, but I did meet two people. So and there was one. He was glowing blue, and the other guy was bright white. And uh, they didn't say anything to me. They just pointed. So I guess I just kept going. Um, once I got down to meet myself, it was a younger self, and uh, the advice I gave to him was, stand your ground. And that was it. That was basically all I said to him. But then uh, when I met my older self later, and what he told me was, it's not your job to understand and try to change people. You just accept them. Beautiful. Very nice. Um, now, you said something about uh, he gives you something. Um, oh, yeah. It was, was like a little hammer or something. I don't know what it was. I got yeah. a gold jewelry box. <laughs> I just remember that. Thank you for bringing that up. Booyah. Yes, I forgot oh. about that too. And yeah, I, I got I got a necklace with a heart on it, and it's a, one of the locket type necklaces. But I couldn't see the picture inside. I'm gonna have to do that again and maybe get the picture. Awesome! I forgot about it too. <laughs> but there was there was one more thing, and I don't know who said it to me or what they said, but they said that. I have to do one of these hangout things and lead a meditation. And it's funny somebody said something about kundalinis because that's all I was thinking about when I when they told me that. <clears throat> Wonderful. Very good. Just talk, just talk, talk. You can talk to me or Dan or Rowie and we'll put you in the... I think there's two openings in November. Put them on the schedule. So, but, but I I know that my my style is not the same as everybody else's. <laughs> that's my meditation. That's what makes totally us an individual. <laughs> exactly, yeah. everybody's different, and we love that. Yeah. So it'll be perfect because it'll be you. Okay. Great. Yeah. So. So, Sabrina, I just wanted to say that my parting gift was a labradorite stone. And 
I remember the second um, trail or the second path, and it felt the right side of my body was very hot, like warm, like love. So I went that way, and whoever that aspect of me was met me and me as now um, meditating, and there's like um, a circle, like a globe shape um, of light, and she connected to me telepathically with a beam, kind of like making into another globe, and then connected both lines up to source. So that was interesting. Oh. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Wow, you guys really went deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad. I really am. Your voice is really nice. conducive to that. It's very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Valerie. You're just full of flowers. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like that, like a flower. Just blooming out. There you go. <laughs> um, so on that note, thank you, everyone. Thank you for participating. And thank you for being yourselves. And... And um, coming here and sharing with us and giving of yourself to the group and to everybody else in your lives. And on that note, I would like to say, Dan, yes. thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Is someone going to do a closing blessing for us? Um. Yeah, yeah, Sabrina. I want to hear. I want to hear your your language talking. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll do some. Of course, Victoria. <laughs> I I'm pretty. Takatata na 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 kolo koski o kuroa katata tiki o kolo akati. Inki o koko la kana na 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 kato. O kolo akana na 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 kato kolo kuto 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 kuto. I ki o kota na 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 ko. Kali o kota ni a ki o kuto kolo katati o kona ni. I o kolo kantari kata kali o kuto. No, kua kali a katani. Eki o kolo kuto no no no. Ki yu kuka aki o kua kakata tonto kuto kuto. O si a kala a kuata na na na. I yu ku ono kota aki o kuto kuaka. I ya no o u o kuata na aki o kuto. Toko la ni a. Eyi. E ki o ko ata na 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 kata. I yo sa tuntu ko. O yi ya na ki o tu. O nko u ko ku kata ki o na. I yo ko a kalali. I yo ko a na 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 kata. A ko sa ni o ko tu. To kon tu ko tu a la la li o tu. Tantu a la la na na ka. I ya tuntu. O ko a na na a ko a. Taka anna un kuru akata tutu asata. Thank you. I loved it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Sabrina. It's just beautiful. Thank you, Sabrina. You're welcome. That's great. Thanks, Sabrina. On that note. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Good night, everybody. Live. Good night, Say bye, everybody. world. Much love. Bye, world. <laughs> bye, everyone. Much love, world. Namaste. Lots of kisses. <laughs> <laughs>